How's it going? Commander64 here. On this channel we do retro gaming and Elite Dangerous related content. I've been spending a lot of time building a cockpit for Elite Dangerous which is nearing completion and any week now will be the last couple of videos for that and I'm looking forward to playing it but right now I'm doing a very short series on building a gaming room in my spare room and we've had part one where we made a plan we got some pieces of MDF from the hardware store and now we're gonna start screwing it together and seeing what it looks like so I hope you enjoy it here we go I'm going to do this one first yeah so underneath the liner room but not on top that's it spin it around because I want the little hole at the top that's it perfecto and that one goes on the cross. Well, it's not much of a cross, but in the middle bit, and then that's it. Perfect. I need to get some kind of bag. Yeah, you need three more from the bag. One. There's two. Sit. Perfect. Get in there, look. And what Daddy will do is screw all these in, and that's what the shelves are going to sit on. Okay, so these are the screws that I'm going to use, and then put them there, and that's how much they stick out, which is pretty, I don't know how much you can see on the camera there, but it goes quite deep into the MDF, so. Good. These are really solid they're not going to go anywhere so i'm going to finish off the rest of them and come back to you okay so now i have screwed in all of the um brackets i guess you call them they're really um tight they're glued they're screwed they're not just glued they're gorilla glued clear gorilla glue so they won't and they go puffy and stuff but they'd be very firm still with the, with the screws in there as well and behind it I've got the other side and as you can see I have lined up the shelves with that so I'm ready to start doing the same thing on the other side now okay so now I have put these plastic fixing blocks on both the opposite side and a small strip that's going to run up the back as well for a bit of extra support. got the uh, fixing blocks on this side and on the other side which is not going to be visible it's going to be against the scaling board 
Uh, I tried to screw it in, that didn't quite go in all the way, it got too tough. Uh, so I nailed it in between, sort of in between the blocks. Right, I have um, found these bits in the shed of um, this chipboard thing, and I have two of them, and it just so happens they fit the back of the bookcase perfect, so I don't need to go out and buy anything to tack on the back of the bookcase. It's just a tiny bit wide, so I'm just trimming a little bit off, and that's it really. so this is what I've got now I've got the plastic lugs in and all the shelves in and some bits at the back for support um, sorry that I'm in portrait mode at the moment I don't like to do my videos like this because I don't it really winds me up when people upload in portrait mode for some reason but it's the only way that I can actually fit the, the whole bookcase in well almost and even then I have to sit right in the corner opposite corner of the room those boards tacked into the back and um, I've whacked in a few more nails I've had a whole bunch of them in there and I've done a bunch in the other side and I've actually managed to nail some uh, nails from this side into here so everything is pretty sturdy now like it's not rocking when I when I pull it you know, not hard obviously, but when I just sort of do that, it's staying put, it's not going anywhere. And uh, I've got room for video game consoles, DVDs, games, and books, but I haven't got room for a CRT TV or a flat screen. So, for even more support, I'm going to put a TV tray, I'm going to build one now that's going to slot perfectly in there in front of the radiator maybe a couple of inches in front of that and it's going to it's going to be touching this wall and it's going to be touching this uh, bookcase so that is going to make it even sturdier and i'll have an srt there and i might even buy a small flat screen at some point to put there and then we'll have a scart selector going down to the bottom and all the consoles in the scart selector going to be awesome I can't wait and then on the other side of the room there's all my tools and stuff but there's a little foot on there so um, this is my spare room basically visitors are going to stay here and be treated to retro gaming heaven so that offers you and that folds out into a, a bed and when the wife's not in I might actually sleep on it myself and play Nintendo all night <laughs> Corner section I'm going to cut out now for the, the part of the bookshelf that sticks out a bit. It's going to be the corner bit, so you'll see. I'll just cut one off now. So, um, can you see the wall there? Just turn it I'll just sit like, like, sort of like that. Uh, you know, and I'll put a joystick on it. So, so I'm going to cut, um, I'll draw over this onto another piece and I'll cut up, uh, well, as many as I can. I'll try and put one next to each shelf. Okay, so that's the end of part two for the gaming build. In the next part, we will um, get those corner bits attached. Um, we'll build the desk that the CRT television set is going to sit on. So I hope you all join me for that part. For now this is Commander 64 signing off.